What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about topical relevancy. So this is a video that quite a lot of people have requested and it's something that I'm still particularly learning. So bit of a disclaimer, um, don't take everything I say as final. This is something that I'm currently exploring and learning a lot about, but at the same time with everything that I share on this channel, anything that I'm learning, I then pass on to you. And that also helps to educate myself and just cement those kind of things that I've been learning about, you know? So if you are brand new to this channel, I'm Leon Angus. I regularly talk about SEO, ranking websites, affiliate marketing, or anything in between that. So if you are brand new, you may want to consider subscribing. All right, as you can see, I'm also happy today because I got my nice beard shaven as well. I was looking a bit rough on those last videos, wasn't I? You know, and um, it's not really a good way to present yourself. And you guys should be telling me and letting me know more, most importantly. But um, yeah, so I've got my phone because I've got all my notes on there as per usual and we're going to go through just a bit a few questions of what topical relevancy is how to establish it and how it can benefit a site you know in the first place why should you even care about it so what is uh, topical relevancy? I've got here, when a website establishes authority around a particular topic through the actions of building content and link relevancy on a given subject or theme. Okay, so what that means is essentially, it's when you have like a lot of content around a particular topic or a lot of links that are very relevant to the topic pointing back to your site. And this can be done through interlinking or it can be done through inbound links coming in from external sites. So why does it matter? I actually managed to pull a quick section from searchmetrics.com and they said with search engines, topical relevancy is mainly used in conjunction with backlinks, incoming links. Websites that carry similar content are said to have topical relevancy. Backlinks from websites that are topically relevant have more impact on a website's position in search results than backlinks from sites that are not related. Search engines assume that topically relevant links are used to offer an additional information that could be helpful. With unrelated links is a high probability that they have been paid for or included for the purpose of improving a site's position in search results. So what they're saying in this kind of brief explanation is that if you are getting links that are relevant from a relevant website on a relevant page with relevant text about the topic on your page, you're gonna see a larger impact than if you just get like a high authority link, say for example, you get like a domain authority 50 link and it's unrelated to your niche or your topic that you're talking about on a particular page. You're gonna see much more of an improvement based on relevancy if you're getting a link from maybe a DA15, but it's highly super re relevant to what your topic's about and what your site's about in general. So the more pages that that site that's linking to you has around that particular topic, the better because they've established quite a lot of relevancy to talk about that topic and they're seen as a potential authority by Google to actually link out to different resources and pass on information to their readers. All right, so how do I know about this and what's my experience? Well, what happened is, as you guys know, I believe it was on the 10th of July, I redirected my entire site's domain. And what the plan was, the reason behind that is because I was all about golden retrievers and I kind of exhausted that option, all the informational keywords, I found all the low comp keywords and whatever else, and I exhausted exhausted all of those terms, yeah? So I had ranked for them, you know, and the ones that I hadn't ranked for, I was working on and whatever else, but the site kind of plateaued at a stage. And what I wanted to do was grow and expand into a bigger audience. So I thought, okay, what's the next stage up from this? Obviously animals and pets is like the, the umbrella kind of niche, but then you could go one step above and go into dogs in general. So opposed to just talking about golden retrievers, you can now be talking about German shepherds, you know, staffishers, all different types of breeds. Okay, and that's what the plan was. So I did all my thing, redirected the site, and then now I've got this new site, and all of my old articles then passed over and they started ranking again. So I started seeing all of that. Then I thought, okay, this is great because Google's rewarding the site, you know, it's coming back. They're seeing it as a legitimate move and you know, everything's looking good and whatever else. So I started writing some new articles about dogs and um, they wouldn't rank. So I wouldn't even show up in the top 100 results. And for a couple of weeks, I was scratching my head, like literally almost stressed thinking, What's happening? Like, is the site completely dead now? Maybe I shouldn't have redirected it. And it wasn't until a thought came to me to run a test and think, okay, maybe I don't have enough relevancy to talk about dogs. Like, even though it's a dog site, I'm specifically about golden retrievers, yeah? So 
let me write some articles about golden retrievers and see what happens to those. At the time, I think I had written like about eight articles on dogs and they just didn't show up, like wouldn't even show up in the top 100, so they were just unseen, but they were indexed when I do the site colon search. And then after I wrote these golden retriever articles, the first one I wrote, I published it and it was like immediately position 17 within the space of like 10 minutes. So I was like, oh my God, this is a real thing. Like, you know, so topical relevancy is definitely real. And all it is is that my website was themed towards golden retrievers. So that's the way I was perceived by the search engine. So what I then done is I continued to publish more articles around dogs in general, targeting low competition keywords with relatively low search volume, you know, medium to low, and then just kept publishing, publishing. And then what happened within like a couple of weeks, they all started climbing up. And now they're all within the top 100 results a few months later. So that's the way it can really benefit you um, in a circumstance where if you don't have a certain amount of content around a particular topic, you wanna build more content around it. And the reason why this happens is because when people have different categories on their sites, say for example, you're a swimming website, but then you make an article about wakeboarding, well, one article on wakeboarding doesn't hold any weight. So what you might hear us talk about a lot is siloing. And what that does is that helps with this kind of thing as well. But you can do this just through basic interlinking, even if you don't do silos. And what it is, is you want to carry more weight around a particular topic. And I've got a great example to show you of how you could visualize this. All right, so I've got my son's toy. I forgot what this is called again. Um, my partner did just tell me. But this is very basic. It looks like I'm from play school now. You know, you've been taught in school. But it's very easy to explain because the way you have it is just say, for example, you're all about blues. So your whole website is all, you've got all these articles that are particularly about, you know, let's say swimming because it's blue, yeah? But then you make an article about wakeboarding. So you have no weight around that. You've got these other sites that have all of that weight, what happens is, is if you're all about this and the way Google sees you, is you can only make more articles and rank very easily about these blue topics, yeah? But then if you actually take a look at this, to establish yourself and rank this one article, say for example, you'd need to have more of these to carry more weight so you can start to balance it out. And now you're perceived as an orange and a blue. <laughs> so just a basic example there, but it helps you to visualize exactly what I'm talking about. So how does this matter with link building? Well, when it comes into link building, it's very better, as I was explaining earlier, to get a link from a relevant website around a relevant topic with a relevant piece of anchor text, okay? So what the anchor text is, is just the wording that's used on the blue hyperlink, okay? All of those things, if you can target all of those and the website has traffic and it's a legitimate site, you're gonna see much more of a ranking boost and movement in the actual Google's index than if you just got a link from like a highly authoritative website that was not related to your particular topic or website, okay? And that's really it in a nutshell, like there's much much more to topical relevancy, but the main thing you need to understand is that if you're writing something that's not directly related about your topic and you're thinking about why it's not ranking, then you wanna establish more supporting content within that field and then you wanna interlink those all strategically to show Google that they're all related articles, okay? And that you are an authority to talk about that, okay? And one of the ways that this can really benefit you is when you're working on a niche website because this is all about one particular topic. And one of the great ways and easiest ways you can actually find like a bunch of keywords that are all highly related is first of all by using your common sense because obviously if you made a website, say for example, <clears throat> about swimming, well everything under that needs to be about swimming, okay? But you could also do this um, in regards to going over to Ahrefs and then if you put in a keyword into the keyword explorer, then you can actually go to this also ranks for tab and then it brings up a bunch of other keywords that all of the top 10 pages that are ranking for that main keyword are also ranking for. So you can create an entire niche website around just that, okay? So I hope you gained some value from this video. Very short video opposed to my usual ones. But um, yeah, if you are brand new, consider subscribing. Also let me know on videos you wanna see because you know I've got more content coming out but sometimes I run out of ideas and whatever else. And most importantly, you guys are the ones that are watching it. But smash the like if you like the new 
shaved off clean look again. I haven't got a haircut yet. Um, I'm not sure if I even got the virus, if you can hear that in my voice, because my partner had it in my baby, but now I've lost sense of smell today. I don't know. I still feel energetic, but I'm not sure, you know? So anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.